It's also fascinating seeing your Elliott waves play out, your long-term trade signals. And then you've got the medium-term trade reports, where is which is your swing trading, where we take a position and we really give you specific enter or exit points along the way or even re-entries. So let's go quickly to the next slide. Uh, the team consists of myself and Marius where we also do weekly webinars on Wednesdays. And the swing trading takes place in a 7 to 45 day cycle. It can sometimes be faster, specifically in this market where we've seen explosive moves. But boy, has the community really been benefiting a lot because the coins has been outperforming so much. We, we always try to find those coins that's going to outperform Bitcoin, because if you can't outperform Bitcoin, you may as well just buy Bitcoin at the end of the day. So we look at all the hot narratives at the moment. AI is a hot narrative for, for this coming cycle. NFTs, gaming specifically, they've been quiet for a very long time, building long-term structures, accumulating again, and now we can see gaming rocketing again starting with mana mana really started that whole cycle and then going over to a few other coins then these are the reports that you get this was the latest one for on tuesday you've got your telegram channel and you, these are just some of the results so where you've got your day trading where you can get in and out of coins. We trade these cycles where we give you a buy zone stop loss levels. And look at this. If you just re-entered, you got your positions and you just ride this to the upside, getting to our final third target, 153%. Specifically in some of these coins, and I'm going to show you on the report, accumulatively what we've made, really fantastic gains. So Koti was another one. Fundamentally, you need to look at projects as well, because that was part of the JED and the listings that took place on the network, part of ADA. And we saw this coin just moving to the upside. We found this. Uh, we missed this bottom part. We still wanted to see if it's going to build structure. And we used different analysis and techniques. Also with a DTM detonator in combination and we find these explosive moves to the upside 97 percent crv was another one 180 percent 18 and moving towards t6 this has only started the accumulation longer term range this is yet to see the next phase to the upside we are in the first impulse wave where we've seen this move and now we're expecting Within the, I would say the next two weeks, approximately a downwards move for the market just to cool off. And then we have the next spike. And I'm can telling you exactly what Maria said. The third wave to the upside is the explosive wave. So you can see another 100, 200% gains in these coins. And then we're going to move over to the smaller cap coins as well. AXS, part of the gaming, been very slow for a very long time. Got in the buy zone reached 105%. There's a few upper targets that I'm showing you guys today, but we update this constantly on our reports and on our Telegram channel. So 105% there. And QNT, one of my favorite coins to play out in cycles as well, went up 58%. And these are only about five coins as examples that I'm showing you. If you go over to our report, you can see here's a few more uh, updates. Uh, we had Chili's there, Engine Coin Fetch, and this is not even updated to the latest data for the last few days that we've seen. 126% in Fetch H bar, that is now up at about 56% approximately. So the coins has really been outperforming tremendously in this cycle, and there's so much more to come. Now, I want to show you one more thing. I've been starting with Fibonacci circles last year. Traded very well. It helps with your support, resistances, entry levels. And I've got this course that's available on the system. If you go under products and FIP circles, you'll see it there. Go watch the introduction video. There's seven lessons so far, possibly more coming your way to help you and guide you to do your own analysis to figure out where's the best possible entries and exit points so that you can get educated. 
this is just a, a quick example of the cycle where we are in in bitcoin at the moment always touching these pivotal points uh, perfectly resistances top side you once you break into a smaller time frame you've got the outer line which is giving you your macro view and then you go into smaller FIB circles where you can trade in also on the cycles also and also giving you a larger view there's trend line analysis that you use in conjunction with it also FIB channels very important powerful lessons uh, that Ines, sorry just to interrupt you there mm. I just see that you've got a 24,000 400 I can't really see is that what you see the high of that FIB circle resistance is that's the top and I can go to this chart this is the top of this FIB circle at the moment and just zoom in a little bit we can put it there 23 that will be the first 24 6 wherever that line comes into is going to be a specific resistance level first if we break that through the next levels come to about 25,000, which is also okay. coincides with the previous highs. But you can see, look at this FIP circle, the 1.618, how it held at support all the time, came through. And once these broken through, you go and retest the bottom of the 3618. And because it didn't break, we know and knew with other indicators that we use that the up cycle and the trend is starting. I was starting to build a position around 16,500, 200 in this area. And then we just shot up from there. I started to take profits around 21 up to uh, 22. So I'm evaluating now to see if we break higher above 23.5 and possibly get into that high, we're going to test 24.446 uh, very, very soon. But the market is getting toppish. Uh, mm. So all these different indicators and analysis, specifically what we use in our charts, always help us to find these specific entry and exit points. So that's in a nutshell, we are at MTT. Cumulatively, these gains over the last two weeks, 1,500%. So we track approximately 30 coins, and it may also go up a little bit more because there's other coins that haven't done these percentages just yet so we are going to rotate into different coins and projects as this cycle continues and i've got very nice targets that i see in bitcoin as a re part of this relief rally and part of the wyckoff method that we're seeing 100% playing yeah. out and the difference with a lot of these coins here is that they are geared to nfts gaming DAO interoperability coins Correct. that makes the big difference because remember guys what i've been saying to you is that the gaming coins are going to explode they can do twelve thousand percent you've seen my long-term trade report twelve thousand six thousand eight thousand percent that is where you need to be because uh, we don't necessarily track all the coins remember in the long-term trade reports those are the major coins that i have that i've got algorithm data on so if you want to get into that too if you trade full time, guys, just dig your feet in everywhere. Over yeah. to you, Ines. Cross chain also going to be very hot this year. Yeah, no, that's really Absolutely. from my side. So thanks, Marius. Appreciate it. And then back over to you.